I'm Jay. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be looking at StockX. We're going to go browse by new lowest ask, and we're just going to see what's worth it to me. Maybe some, maybe we'll find some interesting things that I've never seen before. Before we get into it, uh, got some hat hair, bed hair, because uh, it's time to cut my hair. And uh, yeah, I just don't want to wear a hat right now because it's, it's kind of hot, even though I'm in a crew neck. So anyways, let's get into it. I don't know why it's this is just so entertaining to me sometimes more so than like browsing sneaker blogs or sneaker media because these are things that you can actually get right now whereas sneaker media it's all things that you have to wait for or you ha or you can't get right now or you probably have to pay resale for so i like just taking a look at the market and seeing what's out there and hey what do you know maybe i'll even buy something so starting off on the first page it's not looking great holy shit these tallies are going for how much? Oh my god, these tallies are going for 300 bucks? Dude. Who knew? Look at these shoes. Oh my god. I have no idea what's going on. Man, Adidas is smart. They're trying to go with, uh, you know, how the dunks are kind of hyped up with the 420 dunks. A lot of the Cheech and Chongs I definitely wanted when I was in high school. That's cool. <laughs> Man, these USPS ones. I don't know about these. I just don't like the Air Force One Experimental. I, I know there's a lot of hype on them because they just always sell out no matter what they are, like these pink ones. Oh, <laughs> well, looking at the resale, never mind. I thought they were, I thought they were pretty hyped just because they're all all sold out. I guess that's Nike's tactic. Holy shit! Look at these pink ones. These uh these Fight Club soap bars. <laughs> all right, one thirty seven. Never mind. I I totally thought they were hyped up, but I guess not. Man, these USPS ones. <laughs> 220 bucks i don't know I'm, I'm not a fan of this it's uh it's it's too out there it doesn't look like a shoe anymore you know like it doesn't look cool in a futuristic way either it's just it's more like an art piece i'd say like if i were to buy like a sculpture to to place on a shelf this would probably be it but i'd probably never wear these as i say that these experimental sales totally caught my eye all right these aren't bad um i might i might, I might actually wear these I mean, it's neutral enough. You can't really tell it's that weird, uh, like, matte material around it. So these are a maybe. Um, $200, though, that's... Never mind. That's, that's a skip. I need some water. <laughs> All right, I was just looking at these. Um, <laughs> I, I just said in my easy video that I wouldn't pay resale and that I don't want to ever pay resale, but... Man, I'm like 220 for the Carmines. That's that's a maybe. I might I might hop on this. That is not bad at all. For, for Nike Air on the back on a Jordan Retro, bro. And with a firm, 22 a month. That's got to be a scam, right? It's only 10% over. I mean, how much do these retail for? 200. I mean, 20 bucks over retail. That's that's not bad at all. Yeah, these are nice. I've I've always wanted a pair of Carmines, but they just never you know came out. And here they are. With Nike Air, so I'm just gonna follow that. I'm not logged in. Hang on. God damn it, StockX. Okay, I don't get this. Why is it lowest ask 220 and then highest bid is also 220? Shouldn't they just, you know, connect? All right. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Ooh, Air More Up Tempo Triple White. Yo, these are not bad at all for summer. The only thing I don't like are the laces. I don't like the like mixed color. I wish it was just plain white laces. That'd be pretty cool. Or like thicker white laces. I don't know. It's it, it's all right. I mean, 300 bucks though. Yeah, 300 bucks for the lowest ask. Last sale was 400. What the? I do want a pair of the uh, the black and white ones though. Those are those are it. Maybe I might hop on those too. When did these come out? The flax colorway. Whoa, these are cool. Retail 185, okay. These aren't bad at all. I love the flax colorways because they're really easy to wear. These kind of look like a hiking boot. Oh, uh, the jeweled swish on the back, so good. I had the uh, I had the Olympic pair, but I totally sold them about a year or so ago. They're just too bulky, and then the colors are hard to work with. But I think other colorways of the shoe would still be cool. These are a maybe. 250 though. <sighs> ah. Oh man. 
these come out tomorrow at the time that I'm recording this. And, uh, you know, at, at first I, I really didn't like them because I only like, or I was so used to the, the original flint grays. So with the blue on the uh, 3M kind of upper, but these are not bad. Like they look super crispy in, in all the photos that I've seen. Like the shape of the 13s on these newer retros, it seems a lot sleeker. Like uh, I have, hang on, let me. All right, so I have these, uh, the cherry red 13s. I forgot when these came out. I think somewhere in like 2010 or something like that. They're just sitting on shelves uh, like crazy. Yeah, I don't know. The shape of this, it looks really bulky, like especially when I throw it on feet. Um, but these new 13s, like the red flints, these look way crisper. Anyways, these are cool too. I balled the shit out of these. Uh, <laughs> still, still a shoe I'm really grateful to have. I got them for like below retail because no one wanted them at the time. Yeah, I just beat the shit out of these, but they still don't look too bad. They do look a little grimy, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I think I might try to try to hop on this on sneakers tomorrow. And uh, I don't think these are super hyped up because I mean, like resell. I mean, before they release, usually it's a lot higher. These are only 240. Should be pretty easy to get. I don't think a lot of people will, will be trying to get this. Fingers crossed. What else? <laughs> There's so many shoes that came out when, you know, I, I just didn't have money for shoes. They're so interesting. Like these ATL uptempos, what the heck? The Atlantas? The colors on these are really sweet. St. Saint, Saint Vincent, St. Mary's? Uh, the LeBron high school shoe? High, uh, blah, blah, blah. LeBron high school colorway? Um, whoa, with a 404? Is that the area code? If so, that's friggin' sweet. There's like a like a San Jose one, like SJC. Dude, I'd buy those. I don't know what color they'd be though. With a 408. Oh man. These are cool. I mean, this would be a great summer shoe. When these come out? 2017. Yeah, that's like when I when I stopped buying shoes. And I guess you can only you can only wear these if you're from Atlanta or if you're in Atlanta, right? Damn, Kyrie's were 248. I don't get that at all. I know there are a lot of like limited Kyrie's while while I was out, but 248 for like a performance basketball shoe? It's a pass, man. Oh, LeBron 7 Media Days. Those aren't bad at all. Holy fuck. What? $845 for the new KOs? Come on now. There's no way these are this hyped now, right? Wow, these are like going for 400 bucks. I had the, the bread Air Jordan KOs and uh, I flipped them for like 40 bucks because I didn't think anyone wanted them. Man, Lowest Ask 845 I think it's just because they're not released yet, right? But the other ones are going for like 400 That's crazy. I don't know if people really liked the uh, AJKOs that much, or the um, Chicago colorway of the AJKOs at least. All right, these are the ones I had. Damn, Lois asks $625? What the fuck? I guess the highest bid's only 152 so it just means that no one has them anymore, like dead stock. Yeah, I had these. They're cool. They're all right. They were, I mean, it's the problem with the Air Jordan KOs is that it's still a mid cut, and you really want a high cut Jordan or a low cut Jordan. You don't really want the mids. The mids just don't really look right on feet. I couldn't really pull this off too well. They're they're pretty bright, even though it's just black and red. The red's pretty bright. Yeah, it was it was hard because the cut's a little off. Look look at that cut. That looks so much better. These 2001 um, Air Jordan ones. Oh man, look at the shape of these. Instant upgrade from you know the mid cut of the KOs. You see what I mean though, right? Like this is a high cut. If we go back. This is a mid cut. Like it's it's just it's not a sleek. All right, moving along. What else you got for me, StockX? Ooh, these Viotech LeBron 18 lows are honestly not bad. I mean, they still look way too much like a basketball sneaker, but I really like the colorway. Like the gum outsole, easy win for me. Um, and then kind of different shades of brown. That's another easy win for me. And then the purple swish or the violet. Is it violet? Um. Metallic gold biotech. All right. So the biotech swoosh. That's awesome. I love the white outline of it. And then I like how they use actual premium materials, or at least pseudo fake suede and leather. Since you know, if it's if it's like like the greedy LeBron 18 lows, um, the ones that are just like flywire still and like plasticky, there's no way you can wear that casually. At least in my eyes, I I would never wear like flywire casually. But something like this, I might be able to pull off. Um, since it's just nicer materials we'll see we'll see how these go yeah I'm, I'm always interested in like lebron lows since i missed out on uh lebron 8 lows when i was still into shoes i just never bought a pair that is one of my my sneaker regrets though um i wish i wish i had some lebron lows yeah my only issue with it 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 looks like a mid cut so i i just went off on mids i don't know these need to be a little bit lower for me 
All right, moving on. Oh man, Air Jordan 10 steals. If those ever come back, I have to get them. And uh, I will, I will flip flop on my, won't pay resale statement for those. I will pay resale for the Jordan 10 steals within reason. Um, got SpongeBob, <laughs> SpongeBob Patrick Kyrie's for 284. Oh my God, $284 for this. Oh, wow, look at the Nike sign. That's awesome. I didn't know they did that. That's pretty sweet. I mean, it'd be cool to collect, but who the hell would ever wear these? You know, I, I could, you can wear it on court, but I don't think you can wear these like casually. Cool, cool collector's piece though. I'm, I'm kind of getting into Air Forces now, actually. Um, since they're making them a lot sleeker than they used to. Like when I first got a pair, I got the black ones with a white swoosh and uh, they were just so bulky and they creased terribly. I just didn't like Air Forces um, from back in like 2010. Yeah, but these new Air Forces, they're a little bit sleeker. I, I like sleeker shoes. It's Again, it's all about like the shape of the newer retros that have gotten me back into sneakers because they just look a lot better on feet. And these Pendletons, these are pretty cool. Yellow swoosh, nice suede, and, and then the, the Pendleton fabric. I don't know if it's canvas, but Pendleton canvas maybe. These are nice. 210, I mean, not bad. Hyper Royals, 420, so much hype on those. Oh... What? Did these come out? These uh, Air Force One keep them fresh. <laughs> keep them fresh. Uh -huh. These are nice. Like, uh, I know vintage is in, right? But these are just super clean. Like, they did the fake vintage on these right. The outsole, it's not just sale. It's kind of like an aged, like, it's not gum, but it's just aged white. Super nice. Yeah, these come out. I will cop these. These are dope. I mean, the tissue paper wrap, like, that's cool. It's like another element to make sure that whatever you buy is like super, super dead stock if they have like the tissue still on it. It's a cool concept. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I guess I'm a fan of that uh, since it's kind of a, a fun experience when you first open your shoe too. But we'll, we'll see once they come out. Oh my God, fragments are $5,000. That's crazy. That's like months and months of rent. That's a, that's a used car. Oh, all right. Let's check the prices for these. So these just dropped, um, I think yesterday. They look a lot better in these StockX photos than they do in the, like, the Nike stock photos. But I, like I was saying in my Yeezy video, they're so bright. I can't wear them with anything. Like, they'd be so, so hard to find occasions to wear these. Yeah, res resale isn't bad, I guess. Um, I mean, I mean, $200 for a size 8. Man, I, I wish they would retro um, just some, or make some nice colorways of the LeBron 8 of the v1s because uh these are the ones with the the nicer material on it the v2s and stuff they're all just fly wire and you know more plasticky and more performance based yeah if, if they release like a neutral color if they release like a flax colorway of the lebron 8 v1s pay me nike even though i'm not getting views pay me i know that's a great idea oh okay i don't think these are released yet but these air forces are pretty sweet too um i guess StockX doesn't have the photos yet but if you're able to scroll um these have like the canvas swish swishes, the canvas swishes, and I think there's like an embroidered flower on the the tongue. So I'm always a fan of embroidery. These are cool. Um, if they if they come out, I can get them for retail. Maybe nice summer shoe. I love the kind of like recycled gum bottom look. It looks like it's all you know grainy. I'm a fan of these. Just just not for this price right now. For retail, I'd cop. All right, let's see if we can get to page ten. Dunk low Michigans. I don't know what it is about this color. Like. I, I never thought I would like a yellow sneaker that much, but these are super clean. Like, the color combo, it's it's like the perfect amount of pop in the background from the yellow and then the nice dark navy. These are nice. Like, um, I think on feet, these would be the perfect amount of, like, splash you'd want in your shoes. It's not anything that's too dull or, you know, super plain. These are just, like, a nice little statement piece that you could have. And for 223... I mean, I know Dunks retail at like 100, but resale has been like 200 something, you know, for, for all the other colorways, even higher for the more limited ones. 223 for these Michigan ones, not bad. Up tempo ray guns, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the ray gun theme. I'm just, I don't know. Damn, Curry 8 Smooth Butter Flows are $210? That's crazy. I guess these are like the only limited Currys. I know I checked on uh, Under Armour uh, a few. They're like all the Curry Flow 8s. All the, all the colorways in stock, all sizes. This is crazy. Jordan 1 Lowe's for $300. If you told me that like a few years ago, I, I would have thought you were freaking crazy. Like what, Jordan 1 Lowe's and Jordan 1 Mid selling out and uh, 
going for three hundred dollars resale. What's funny is I actually signed up for this. I signed up for uh, some raffles on this this sneaker. These are just really clean. I like I like gray and like I think the midsole is like sale. It's not actually like pure white, which is just awesome. But yeah, I never expected to to like Jordan One lows that aren't the the low OGs, like just the normal Jordan One lows. But yeah, these are pretty clean. It's crazy that resells at like three hundred dollars for these. All right, last page. Last page. Bad man, the bad bunnies. Who who saw that coming? Thousand dollars? Jesus. I I thought it was kind of an. Don't hate me. I thought it was kind of an ugly shoe, and just objectively speaking, it's really bulky. And like, look at this ankle like lining. Like, what's going on? And then the strap. I can't do the strap. I don't like this shoe, but it's crazy that these are like a thousand dollars. I like the colors. I just can't do the shoe itself. It reminds me of like shoes that I got when I was first starting getting into sneakers, like uh, like a DC shoe. I had like Osiris skate shoes. That's what this reminds me of, and I think that's why I can't kind of vibe with it. I like the colors and and that it's different though, you know. I don't I don't think I'd ever wear this if I had them. All right. Um yeah, I guess I'll wrap it up there. Uh not too much to to look into or things that I would actually buy. Um I think right now just kind of a slow week. Yeah, I'll, I'll check back in and see what else we have for new Lois asks in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jay. This is my studio. I got more coming. Thanks.